The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today, we're talking about all the sauce in EQ8 and EQ3 the two stock Ableton EQs. The first thing that I would like to EQ is my lead vocal. So the first plugin that I'm gonna start with is EQ3. So let's say, for example, lows and highs was what I was trying to get rid of. Singing back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Now that sounds pretty cool already. We can control the cutoff point. Singing back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya Little puppet with a big dream Hey Got a one way to California This is the kind of sauce I would use here on my ad lib. So let me drag EQ3 down here Because a filter pass like this where I have a custom low point and a custom high point is not something I can do with auto filter and it's something that takes a few extra clicks than this with EQ8 which is why I said when I know I'm trying to do something simple like this I always grab EQ3. Back for the hits game. So now back to our lead vocal. Just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. There's a couple things that I would like to do with my voice. And the first thing is gonna be a low cut. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with somewhere around there I can hear it working. And now let's make up for the loss in bass with a little bit back of for the resonance. Hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. In fact, little maybe we puppet can with a big dream. Cut it off even closer. Got a one way to California. Let's hear it in context. Thinking back for the hits game. Without it. It was all just a good time for ya. Back on. Little puppet with a big dream. And we can apply the same principle over here on the high cut. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to California. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Back on. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to California. Now we've just cut out all the unnecessary lows and unnecessary highs in this recording so that the compressors have nothing to work with but what we absolutely want. The next thing that we could do is turn on the headphone icon here and do a little bit of filter sweeping to find if there's any spots that feel a little bit harsh. On solo. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. Take it back to the old read. I really don't. You were there waiting for me, for me. Somewhere right there I think sounds pretty ugly. And that's the spot that I know how to turn down. And I know it seems backwards to find what you don't like by turning it up, but that really helps me find what feels harsh. Singing back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. To make up for this little dip right here, I like to do a boost next to it. Thinking back for but instead of with the shelf, I'm gonna do a boost with a bell. Thinking back for the hits game. I think it sounds it was all just a good time for ya. Pretty nice Little right there. With a big dream. Got a one way to California. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Let's click here. Turn our frequency on. Let's do one more sweep and see Thinking if there's anything else that we don't game. want. Let's it do. was all just a good time for you. Something right there. Let's turn this one down. I didn't like the way that rang out. Let's hear this with our music. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to California. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? 
Introducing Pop and Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so poppin' your song just might pop off. Pop and Plucks is available now only at Holoops.com. The next spot that I'd like to do some EQing is on our instruments group. We've got our guitar made out of a stock Ableton Suite guitar. Throughout the last Ableton ABC's uploads, I've sauced these guitars up, so check the links in the description to see how we got everything sounding like this. Here on the group, I'm gonna drop an EQ and we're going to focus on how these interact with the vocals in a spot where there's drums too. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. We're dealing with a lot of stereo instruments. So I'm gonna switch this into mid side mode and select the M here so that we're EQing the mono part. So right there it's ringing a little bit, just like with the vocal. And that's the spot that I'm gonna find and dip out. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya yeah, yeah. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream yeah. Got a one way to California Let's take this and turn it to a high cut Thinking back for the hits game, hits game. It was all just a good time for ya yeah. And we're gonna put the resonance peak right here next to our dip And then cut everything off afterwards And I'm also gonna go over here and do the same thing It was all just a good time for ya yeah, yeah. That's already a lot cleaner than that. Boom. Now we lost a little bit of that low end, so we can make up for it with a resonance peak here with number two. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Instead of doing a resonance peak with the mono, I think I'm gonna push both these back down and let's switch this to stereo and let's do our resonance peaks with stereo bands. It was all just a good time for ya. Yeah, yeah. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream yeah. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. We can also enable our high pass on here. Thinking back for the hits game. Hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Yeah. And you can always sneak the stereo one a little bit more to the low end just because we're not competing with the mono sub and now here in scale we have the option to take what we're doing and do even more of it because we just use this little headphone feature to dial in the sweet spots or we could try and do the opposite of what we were doing the last thing that I want to do is a little bit of EQing on all these background vocals. There is a different take pan to the left ear as there is to the right ear, which creates somewhat of a stereo effect, but it's still two takes of the very same sound. So we could really enhance the stereo effect by applying different EQ settings to the left ear and the right ear. And this is something that I would go and grab EQ3 again for, so let's just drop it on here before the vocal chain, after auto-tune, as always. Let's turn this. Maybe roll it off here and here. So now the left ear of the low background vocal is a little bit thinner and pushed in the mid ranges. And the left one is left dry. And now we'll go down here and I'm gonna paste this on the right ear. That way we have the effect on the opposite ear here in this stack. And then once again, I'll just paste this down on the left ear and maybe we'll pick some different numbers for this one. Let's just take a listen to what we're tuning. Oh, so we're doing some high singing. We could do some higher numbers right here. Boom. And now we've created a much wider stereo image just by applying different filter settings to all of our background vocals. And the final 
secret saucy hidden treasure here inside of EQ8 is always check out oversampling. It does use a little bit more CPU. Thinking back for the hits game. But it sounds ever so slightly saucier. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Yeah. Little puppet with a big dream. Got a one way to California. Actually, I'm gonna leave oversampling off here on the guitars so that only the vocal is as bright as possible, and this will keep the synths ever so slightly softer. Well, there you have it. That is my complete sauce guide to EQ8 and EQ3. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful. And if you want to check out the rest of my Ableton ABCs, click the links in the description of any one of these videos, and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.